Hello everyone, today we have a 2019 Ford Expedition XLT with four-wheel drive. And that EcoBoost engine sounds good. So I'm going to go ahead and close this up and take you for a tour. See it does have the tow hooks up front, fog lights. Also has that keyless entry, alloy wheels package. I'll go ahead and give you a sneak peek of that interior. That is a black leather interior. All right, and we'll go ahead and close that up after we show you these fold flats. So we'll go ahead and pull those back up. So I mentioned this is four-wheel drive. All right, so we'll go ahead and take a tour of the interior. The second row, and then the third row. And right here, you'll see that you have two USB ports and independent climate control back here. And here's your VIN right here, and I will upload some still photos of that as well. Your seat controls. And then right here, you've got 72,163 miles on this vehicle. And then here you've got your trip computer toggles, as you see there. And then you've got your cruise controls, your stereo controls, your push to talk, and then you got your push button ignition there. And then here's your key fob and your cup holders right here. And then you got your shifter, drive mode selector for two and four wheel drive, and then another, there, let's see, at least one 12 volt power outlet down in there. There's another 12 volt power outlet. Then you got your stereo controls. Sources for your stereo are AM, FM, Sirius XM, and Bluetooth. Your climate controls, phone, and apps. And then you'd have to be connected, but you can find additional mobile apps there. And then here's your Wi Fi, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay. That's actually what I use in my daily driver for navigation. And then we go ahead and pop it in reverse. There's your HD reverse camera, and then your sensors right there. And coming up here. You've got your map reading lights and then your sunglasses holder. That about wraps it up for this XLT on the interior. This particular vehicle does have a branded title. There was a accident that it was in that it is, let's see, it sustained some damage right here in the center. Con let's see, in the center front the airbags deployed but there was no structural damage so we got it all fixed up and has passed the 150 point inspection and the state of utah safety inspection and let's go ahead and take it for a test drive all right so without further ado let's go ahead and take a test drive of this vehicle go ahead and put it in reverse so you can see that work that camera's working great it is an hd camera Okay, we'll go ahead and come out here. Okay. And as we're driving along, go ahead and listen for irregularities, for anything that's vibrating, rattling, anything that sounds loose. Okay, and you can see there's a fairly rough road. 
and at the moment I'm not hearing anything but a seat belt that's rattling. There's a seat belt in the second row that is, so I'm going to adjust that. When I get back, across this railroad crossing. Okay, and everything else is sounding good. The steering feels tight. It's shifting well. So I'm going to go ahead and pause it until we get to the on-ramp of the freeway. Okay, we're at the on-ramp, so we're going to go ahead and get on the freeway. Go through this little S-curve. And this isn't going to show us much about acceleration, so we're going to go ahead and get on the freeway. And we're going to get up to freeway speed. We're going to listen for anything that's out of the ordinary, that's rattling or rumbling or whistling or worrying. And then we are going to get off the off ramp, turn around, and then we'll, we'll go ahead and accelerate from there so that you can hear that because that's something that you'll need to experience. Okay, so we're up to freeway speed now, and it's running smooth. Everything's quiet. Like I say, the only rattling that I hear is that seat belt back there. And that's the seat that you can flip up in order to get in the back. So from time to time, that's going to happen. But I will adjust that when we get back. But other than that, everything sounds nice and tight. Steering's working well. Suspension feels good. And then when we get to this off-ramp here, then I'll go ahead and do a brake test. Okay, we're at this off-ramp, and we'll go ahead and do a brake test. And those brakes sounded good, operated well, so we're going to go ahead and turn around, and then we'll do an acceleration test. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do our acceleration test now. And we are at freeway speed. So the transmission shifted very well, had great power. So we're going to go ahead and finish this tutorial, or test drive, I should say. So this is our first week doing these. So in the comments below, if you'd let us know if you found this helpful, if you didn't, if there's something else that you'd like to see in the video, that'd be great. Thank you very much. And for more inventory, visit us at tjchavinauto.com. In the spirit of full disclosure, here is a copy of the original label for your vehicle so you can see what it was equipped with straight out of the factory.